I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. Love him or hate him, one thing is clear. Jordan B. Peterson is a lightning rod of controversy. And like all smart people, he's used that controversy to his benefit. It looks like every time an event of his brings criticism, his fame skyrocket. Here is every Jordan Peterson event recently that was protested, picketed, called for cancellation, and still went off without a hitch. He's basically the Andrew Tate of academics. The more you talk about him, the stronger he gets. Just ask the recent protesters in Ottawa. Back on Monday, January 30th, the Canadian psychologist was supposed to speak at an event in the Canadian city. This was the first stop of his North American speaking tour, and even before the event started, there was outrage. According to Peterson himself, 36 organizations called for the event to be completely shut down. The venue even had to shut down replies on Twitter because the residents of Ottawa were that upset about the event. Imagine getting that level of opposition. Yikes! Groups like the Horizon Ottawa, the Council for Canadians, and the Centre Town Community Health all opposed Jordan Peterson stepping onto the stage. They talked about how Jordan Peterson's right-wing rhetoric is often misogynistic and violent and increased the rate of violence against people of the LGBTQ community, particularly of the trans community. But whether their criticisms are valid or not, the day of the event showed a completely different opinion towards Peterson. Because not a single person showed up to protest against him, it was a pretty disorganized opposition. Meanwhile, the hockey arena was almost completely filled by his supporters. And instead of the protests actually doing something against the author, all they did was make his name come up in the news once again. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. We'll give you a few examples of other events that were just like the one in Ottawa. Last month, protesters surrounded his event in Sydney. This time, it was organized by a group named Campaign Against Racism and Fascism. One of the protesters was the University of Sydney's Global Solidarity Officer, Deeglin Godwin. Damn, right? But this isn't the worst part, because Peterson's crazy following turned unhinged. His followers retaliated against the protest using Hitler salutes of all things. Say what you will, but that isn't the sort of thing anyone should do ever. But it's because of this ride-or-die following, which has often been compared to a cult, that whatever the protesters did, it couldn't stop Peterson. The same thing happened in Germany. Back in September, the author spoke for the very first time in Germany, where young people paid as many as 80 euros to see him. You heard that right, 80 euros. A third world household could run for a month on that money. Talk about being a loyal supporter, right? But some people bought tickets just because of the protesters. One attendee even claimed that he decided to attend right after he saw a newspaper article against the Canadian. People keep talking about him, and Jordan Peterson keeps winning. Just like he did in this other event. Let's go a little further back in time for this one. Back in May of 2022, Jordan Peterson was scheduled to speak at a venue in Kitchener, another city in Canada. But this event was a little different from the event in Ottawa, because this time, the protesters actually showed up. Inside Kitchener Centre in the square, there was a sellout crowd. But if you walked just outside, you'd come across a demonstration. There were even police personnel present to ensure the event would go on without a hitch. Damn, right? Imagine being both loved and hated to that extent. People had started protests months before the actual event. Just outside the venue, people had taken chalks to write messages supporting the trans community, like Trans Love and Go Home Jordan Peterson. One of the organizations that arranged the protests was Ground Up WR. About two months before the event took place, they showed up for their monthly bike ride session and used it as an opportunity to send a message to the city-owned facility, cancel Jordan Peterson's show. But just like Ottawa, Peterson's supporters outnumbered those against him and the actual event went off without a hitch. It probably wasn't a good day for the protesters. Just a month before that, in April of 2022, Jordan Peterson was scheduled to speak at an event in Seattle, at a venue named The Paramount. Can you guess where this is going? Don't worry, we'll fill you in. But this event had a surprising twist at the end. Hundreds of emails and calls flooded in against the event. People raised concerns about everything, 
from anti-Semitism to one person even bringing up the author's appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast. If you don't know, back in 2022, Jordan Peterson gave an interview on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, in which he called gender dysphoria a sociological contagion and compared it to satanic ritual abuse. Can you believe that? Needless to say, that drew a lot of backlash. We'll let you make your own conclusions on whatever the author has had to say, but this time it seems the criticism actually managed to do something. The event has been rescheduled and will now be taking place on the 16th of February. Will it go off without a hitch? Nobody knows yet. But just like anything else the Canadian psychologist has done, it's bound to bring a lot of mixed feelings. But sometimes, those mixed feelings become like fire and oil, and then the protests turn violent. Just like they did in the next event we're talking about. Let's go all the way back to 2018 for this one. We're here to protest uh, Jordan Peterson being given a platform at Queen's University. The psychologist was speaking at an event at Queen's University in March of 2018, when a woman stood on one of the building's window ledges and started banging on the window. The window eventually broke, because that tends to happen when you hit glass. And the woman fled the scene after she cut her hand. She wasn't the only one protesting, though. There were over 150 students gathered outside the venue ready to speak against Jordan's far-right rhetoric. But just like all the other events, it looks like this was only a minor inconvenience to the author. Every time someone talks against him, someone else looks at his ideas and identifies with them. Just like the German student we're talking about, it looks like the Canadian is an expert in staying relevant. After all, no publicity is bad publicity, right? And it's not only in real life that he's come back stronger after people tried canceling him. When actor Elliot Page came out as trans, Peterson's account was banned under Twitter's hateful conduct policy after Peterson posted a series of tweets against him. When Elon Musk bought Twitter, the author's account was restored. Talk about adding fuel to the fire, right? Elon Musk strikes again. As for the Beyond the Order tour, which the Ottawa event was a part of, there are about 30 stops left for this year alone. Let's see if Jordan Peterson can continue to sail smoothly, or if all of the enemies he has made finally catch up to him and can cancel him for good this time. But knowing him, it doesn't seem likely. Jordan B. Peterson's career has been a masterclass in turning controversy into fame. He's been able to use every single person who spoke against him as fuel to run his career, and it doesn't look like he's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Are you a fan of the Canadian psychologist? What do you think about his meteoric rise in popularity? Let us know, and thanks for watching.